In my first and only employment at a law firm, I was assigned a legal secretary, Dina, and she was blessed with beautiful curly brown hair, perky tits, and an equally perky ass. I wanted to fuck her from the moment my eyes met hers, and within three months us flirting across the desk, innuendo and careless office touching. We were having a drink together and I was waking up in her bed, our clothes strewn around as if a hurricane had occurred. Because of my first girlfriend's bipolar disorder and the tragic breakup I experienced with her, my experience in relationships was fairly limited, and I wanted to have a relationship with Dina. In my mind, this was the one, or at least a really good candidate for the one. I pursued her intently and we kept it secret in the office, there being an office policy against employees dating, for good reason. I was blind. We were in the local hangout, Joe Kai, my friend from law school who came out after I told him how ripe the pickings were and was making a name for himself at district attorneys, was introducing me and Dina to Travis Holt, a young personal injury attorney and a really handsome guy. He would end up on billboards a few years later. Dina blurted out, I'm trying to learn how to give a good blow job. I almost spit out my beer. Travis's eyes lit up and he said, well, you have to cup the balls like this and put a hand up to show how. She laughed. I'll have to give that a try. Joe tells me you're working on a huge construction defect lawsuit, I said. Yeah, it just kind of landed in my lap. I'm trying to figure out how to get on the defense side of those cases. I could introduce you to the insurance adjuster for one of the contractors. They're looking for a firm. You'd have to sell yourself on it. I can only make the introduction. That would be great, I said, and he excused himself to the restroom. I turned my attention squarely on Dina. Really? You're trying to learn how to give a good blowjob? I was just being funny. That's not funny, that's fucked. Oh, come on, it's funny. I've never been able to make you come. Just because I've never came from a blowjob doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. Maybe it's something wrong with me. I'm just wondering if you are wanting to blow Travis Holt. Just then, Travis appeared, smirking, and said, Now back to this blowjob business, I'm thinking you probably just need more practice. Fuck. I should have probably seen the handwriting on the wall, but I missed it in my desires for things to be different than they were. Not long after, Dinah told me she wasn't taking the pill any longer, and we would need to use condoms. I said okay, but one night I didn't bother with it. I pull it out though. Clearly, that is not a good method of birth control. Not long afterwards, Dina asked me to come over because we had to talk. You never want to hear your girlfriend utter that phrase. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yes. I'm positive. I regret everything that follows. Well, what do you think we should do? I think I should get an abortion. Really? Yes, really. I'm not ready for a kid. I'm behind whatever you think is best. I lied. We were never the same after the abortion. We broke up shortly after. In survival of the fittest, my genes were insufficient. I was also accumulating significant emotional baggage for an impending collapse. In other words, life happened. It was 1996 and I was 25.